Thank you, Hugh, and a very good evening to you wherever and however you're listening for Talk Sport 2. The Georgian Prime Minister, Irakli Kopahitse, described his country's win over Portugal on Wednesday as a miracle. As Willie Sanyol's side qualified for these knockout stages on their Euros debut, Liberty Square in Tbilisi was packed with celebrating fans jamming the streets for hours. Having seen off Cristiano Ronaldo and co then, can they create more Iberia hysteria against the might of Spain here in Cologne? Let me run you through the lineups. Spain have reverted back to their strongest side that they played against Italy. They made 10 changes against Albania, but that's back to normal. Spain have Unai Simon in goal, the back four of Danny Carvajal, Robin Lenormand, Emeric Laporte and Mark Cucurea in their back four. Pedri, Rodri, Fabian Ruiz in central midfield. Lamine Yamal, Alvaro Morata and Nico Williams in their front three. For Georgia, unchanged for the win over the Portuguese, Georgi Marmanashvili the keeper, Georgi Gvelasiani, Kuran Kashia and Lasha Devali the back three. Otto Kabadze, Kakabadze rather, and Luka Lokrashvili are the wing backs. Georgi Chakvatadze of Watford, Georgi Kocharashvili and Otto Kitschiashvili in midfield, Richard Kvaratskhelia and joint top scorer of these championships, Georgis Mikotadze, are the front two. Spain will have kick-off, they're wearing their traditional kit, red shirts and red socks with blue shorts and a bit of a yellow trim. Georgia in white with a red vertical stripe down the centre of the front and back of their shirts. White shorts and socks with Spain kicking from right to left as we look towards the back of the West Stand here at the Köln Stadium. To our left, the North Stand filled with Georgian supporters and that's the end that Spain are attacking in this first half. And they have possession on the halfway line with Emil Laporte. And he gives it to Mark Kukure, who we were talking about earlier this hour, in terms of how he's finishing the season in fine style after a somewhat uncertain start to his Chelsea career. Balls work back to the halfway line and Robin Lenormand of Real Sociedad, a number of Sociedad players in this Spain squad, making a big contribution. Here's Nico Williams, trying to go past Kakabati for the first time, gets a good crossing into the area, Morata tries to bring it down and guide it goalwards, but it's brought clear by Georgia. And Lokachashvili works the ball up to the halfway line, but it won't make its way through to Mikko Tadze. It's intercepted by Laporte, and Spain keep possession. A minute gone on Talk Sport 2. Spain nil, Georgia nil. Here's Darren Bent. Yeah, good evening. Spain played in that 4-3-3 system, obviously. Rodri just admit that the anchor in that midfield. I fully expect him to get on the ball and start making things happen. And obviously Georgia, that 5-3-2 system that worked really well against Portugal with the two boys up front, Kuba Scalia and Michael Tadzi, certainly going to be their outlet. They're going to have to do a lot of work. They're going to have to be patient. They're going to have to be compact, as I've said many a times. But when they break, I expect those two to break at some real pace. Here is Laporte, just over the halfway line. Georgia already into that 5-3-2 formation that switches from left to right depending on where the ball is. It's Carvajal working the ball into the edge of the area. Might drop here for Pedri at the edge of the D. Gets the shot away and it's blocked and it's Cassia, the captain, that ends up just side-footing the ball away from danger. Yeah, Fabian Ruiz there had a real good chance to be fair. I mean, he went to play the through ball and it bounced back to him on the half turn and he tried to get a shot off and it was Cassia who put a really, really good tackle in. Georgia working hard as they force Spain back to the halfway line. Lenormand will stroke a pass to Danny Carvajal just over the right-hand side. Yamal, who's up against the left wing back, Lokchosvili. It's worked back to Carvajal and infield to the very influential Rodri. Square pass to his left for Laporte. Out to the left wing for Williams. He's already got past Kakabadze once. Puts an early right-footed cross in from deep. And it's headed out of play by Cashier for a throw to Spain. Nil-nil. If you're a Georgian set of off, you want him to do that, Nico Williams. What you don't want him to do is get to the byline and cut the ball back. But if he's going to be putting crosses in from that kind of area, just outside the box, I think the likes of Cashier and Davide, those guys will eat that up. They'll keep heading it away and let, let keep recycling. Maybe Nico Williams switch it up and try and go by his man and then get the ball in the box. Now ball clips into the edge of the area. Williams at the left-hand corner of the box. Quick feet from him. Pulls the ball across the face of goal, but it's too high for Morata and indeed for Yamal. And in fact, the flag's gone up for offside against one of the Spanish forwards and 
Georgia will get a free kick in their own penalty area, but they haven't got the ball at their own half yet, the Georgians. Nil-nil on two minutes. The last game they've scored, they've already scored by now against Portugal. It was really one nil to, to Georgia. So uh, yeah. they're really in territory they've not been in yet. 96% possession, Hugh Wasencroft is showing me for Spain. So free kick for Georgi Marmadashvili, this Valencia goalkeeper that's really enhanced his reputation a hundredfold at these championships. Made some brilliant saves even before the saves we saw him make, Darren against Portugal. He made some good saves that night too, but against Czechia he was outstanding. He made a couple against Diego Dallo, didn't he, in Portugal? Yeah. The first one was really impressive. But Georgia just can't get hold of the ball at the moment. Here's Jamal darting through the inside right channel. Great run, flicks it out to Carvajal on the right hand side. Ball along the deck into the area and slid goalwards by Pedri. But a comfortable save by Marmadashvili plunging to his right. There wasn't really any pace on the sliding effort from Pedri and it stays nil-nil on Torch Court 2. And that's exactly what I spoke about. That's the type of cross I think they can score from. Danny Carvajal making that over the overlap and just sliding it along the floor between the penalty spot and the six-yard box and Pedri timing his run really well and getting it in but just couldn't get enough purchase on it. England made it through but needed extra time against Slovakia. Over on Torch Sport, they're reacting to that win now. The Faker Rudders, your England correspondent getting word from all the great and the good and then uh, there will be a game day phony with Jamie O'Hara taking your calls on talk sport to further reflect on how England made it through just to play Switzerland next weekend that's over on talk sport right now here on talk sport 2 five minutes gone in Cologne nil-nil Spain coming forward with Cucurea another deep cross to the far post flicked away by Lutosvili and it's kept in play by Carvajal on the right hand side midway point of the Georgian half now Lamin Yamal up against Rochosvili again plays a lovely ball in field to Rodri quick pass for Fabio Ruiz at the edge of the area tucks it down the left hand side of the box for Nico Williams plays it into the near post and attempted header on goal from Fabio Ruiz and Georgia again get it clear Mikotadze is giving chase but Lenormand will guide the ball back to Unai Simon who makes his first touch of the evening and makes a lovely little reverse pass to find Rodri who immediately fires the ball into the feet of Kukurea on the halfway line Kukurea looks for Williams on the overlap just gets the better of Kakabadze for a moment now Rodri again in the centre of the Georgian half works it in field to Pedri being snapped at by Kitiishvili Balls worked out from left to right. Spain, very quick tempo. But the ball into the box from Yamal is over hit for Murata, although he appreciates the effort. It's a goal kick to Georgia. Nil-nil on six minutes. Here on Talk Sport 2. That's where I think Georgia want you crossing the ball from. I mean, we, we know what quality he's got. He's fantastic, Yamal, cutting in that left foot. But if you're putting the crosses from that from that type of area, when you play three centre halves, I mean, Georgia will play in a back five. But when you play three centre halves, only one of them is marking Murata. That leaves two free. They'll head it away all day long. We saw earlier when they got the opportunity with Pedri, that's how they're going to have to put balls into the box. Slide it across the floor, little cutbacks, and get in midfield players coming onto it. There was talk of Lamine Mal being under pressure and being charged by the German authorities for being 16 years of age and working past 10 o'clock, which is not allowed, <laughs> bizarrely. Georgia coming down the right-hand side with Kakabati, but he barges into Kukurea. Yeah, apparently, they, if it goes to extra time, if you work as a professional footballer, you're okay until 11 o'clock. But after that, you can get charged for staying on to extra time. <laughs> work wow. that out. <laughs> Are they going to get him off that pitch? What, arrest I've him on there? No idea. On. He's just passed his exams as well whilst he's been out of here. Congratulations. Couple of stern examination. Spain are giving Georgia here in these opening minutes. Seven gone, nil nil. But the game has been played almost exclusively in the half to our left as we look down from our vantage point here in the Cologne Stadium. This is where they've got to stay disciplined, Georgia. They can't, they can't come away from what they've, they've been doing really well this first seven minutes. Yes, Spain have had a lot of the ball, but they have to be compact, they have to be together. Nico Williams, left-hand side, level with the edge of the area, rolls it back to Laporte. Pedri takes over now. Back to Williams, who's got space to run at Kakabati. As he slides it to Kukureo, cuts it back from the byline, and it's turned behind by Kitiashvili for Spain's first corner of the night. Nil-nil. Kitiashvili doesn't block that. Pedri comes in, he's got a free attempt on goal. But that's the areas they've got to work in. Really good play again for Nico Williams he just leaves it in there for Kukurea and if he misses it there's a couple of them behind just to tap it in the empty net but that's where I say the service has got to be when you're putting the ball into the box so Williams can take this corner just down to our left hand side at the north stand end to our left 
takes it short to Yam Yamal who's come out to this left hand side with him gives it back to Williams who's now level with the box swings it in right footing great delivery but there's Cashier the captain who was there so often against Portugal to head things clear Ball's attracted to his head like a magnet in Gerson Kirkin he was there again to head it clear for Georgia 0-0 there's a good delivery there from Nico Williams as well put it into a good area but as I said you've got Morata who's in almost on the penalty spot and he's got three centre half next to him I mean he's going to have to be the if you're going to put a ball in like that it has to be pretty much the perfect pass to for him to have a, get his head on it Carvajal then floated across him for the right looking for Morata but it was nowhere near him Georgia get it half clear but tied it up again by Lenormand on halfway to keep it away from Kodak's Kaley who I don't think he touched the ball yet nine minutes gone nil nil on talk sport two for the right to face Germany in Stuttgart on Friday between these two Spain and Georgia here's Pedri finding Kukurea midway point of the Georgian half works it back to Laporte now placing that to the left wing for Williams who's again faced up by Kakabadze just lays it off to Kukurea midway point of the half he thought about sending a cross into the box but he'll have a bit of space as he receives it back now from Laporte level with the area but again Georgia get their shape right and Kukurea delays the cross then plays a lovely ball into the left hand corner of the box for Fabian Ruiz a pirouette and a turn and a cross that's deflected behind the Spain's second corner of the game they they're, will. they're working really hard Spain I mean working the ball left to right really trying to almost draw Georgia out of that kind of compact shape that three that five three two they're, they're trying to they don't want to break that shape but they're having to because they're chasing the ball and Spain is probing plotting hoping that someone switches off Williams with his second corner into the near post heading goals in a brilliant save by Marvin Philly and Topo behind by Cassia for another corner for Spain flick header at the near post and it was well capped out by Marmadash Billy, nil nil. Yeah, really, really good. Danny Harkava was the one who gets across the near post. It's a really good header and defense even better save. And a short corner. Work for Yamal, left-hand corner of the box. He's blocked out of play by Kitty Ishvili. It's all Spain here in Cologne. Ten minutes gone. And the Georgians really are under pressure in these early stages. Can they hold out? Throw in by Kukurea. Back to Laporte. Now Rodri in field, almost at the centre of the half, plays a lovely square pass, firm and true, into the feet of Lenormand. It's only half cleared by Georgia, but then Lotos Billy, oh, he got that all wrong, he was looking for a teammate, not found. Here's Rodri again, out to the right wing and Yamal, right hand corner of the box, just chips it into the far post, picked up by Williams, Williams to the edge of the area, drive is deflected, yet another corner for Spain, that's their fourth, and we're only in the 11th minute on TalkSport 2. What's happening is, is um, Mikko Tadzi and Kavatsaili are coming so deep now that when they've got possession of the ball, they've got no outlet. Short corner to the right-hand corner of the box. It's floated in by Fabian Ruiz, but it's brought away by Georgia. Chance for them to attack, but then Jack Patadzi couldn't hold on to it. It's back with Spain. They've got to get Georgian players back behind the ball. Only Kavadas Kelly has stayed up for the moment. Spain have it on the right-hand side with Yamal. Williams is out there with him, but Yamal goes on his own down the right-hand side of the penalty area, then lays it back to Williams. Carvajal takes over him, plays it back into Rodri. Rodri gets his head up, looks for an option, and floats it out to this left-hand side, and Mark Kukurea. No cross this time from Kukurea, or indeed from Laporte. Works it back to Rodri once more. Sets up play to the right. Carvajal, cross along the deck into the area. Volley cleared by Diwali. At the back for Georgia, Mikotadze heads the ball up to halfway, but he can only find a Norman. It's incessant pressure from the Spanish. You've got to stay focused. If you're a Georgian defender or a Georgian player, you have to stay focused because Spain have had so much possession. They're, all they're waiting for is one person to switch off and then they're, they're being behind you. But to be fair to this point, Georgia they put their bodies on the line, they're defending really deep, really stodgy, not letting any gaps in between them, and they're going to have to do it. I mean, we're 12 minutes in, it's going to be a long, long game. Kukurea for Spain, works it back to Laporte, Laporte with a firm pass to Carvajal, inside right channel, out to the right wing and Yamal, trying to isolate Rochos Vili, into the box, little back flip from Pedri, to the edge of the area, Fabio Ruiz had his shot blocked, Rodri picks up the loose ball, finds Kukurea in there to the box, slides it down the left hand side for Nico Williams who tries to drive, and that was blocked and hit out of play by Veliciani, it is all hands to the pump, for Georgia, you think it was 0-0 in the 89th minute, not the 13th. 
five corners for Spain. All they do is create overloads. On this side, Nico Williams and Kukurea, every single time one of them picks up the ball, it's 2v1, 2v1. This is whether they can choose the right option. So, Williams with the corner for Spain. Headed out of the near post, and that was a foul on Cassiot. Two players came flying in, looking to see who the Spanish player was that got himself injured. It was the Norman, actually. Cassiot has come off worse. And the French referee tonight, Francois Letessier, has given the free kick to Georgia. And a bit of, a bit of respite for the Georgians whilst Cassiot gets treatment out there, Darren Bent. I'm surprised none of the Georgian players are coming over to the side to get a little drink because they have worked so hard in the first 30 minutes. It's actually quite scary. But fair play to them, they've stuck with it. They've not really conceded too many opportunities. Well, that's all they can do, Dan. That is all they can do. I mean, even the two centre forwards we spoke about them a lot, um, Mikkel Tadzi and Varad Scalia, those guys, they're not going to see much of the ball, even less than they saw probably against Portugal. But again, they've got to stay focused, got to stay disciplined. They know what the objective is. When they get the ball, or they get the opportunity, because they will create something, they have to take it. That's the voice of Darren Bent, former England striker with us on Talk Sport 2. 14 minutes gone, Spain nil, Georgia nil. Spain have completed 132 passes so far. Georgia, 13. Free kick though for Yogi Mamadashvili, the goalkeeper. Left footed, drives it downfield, looking for Kakabata to get his head to it. Drifts out to the left hand side of Kukurea. Played in field. Now Kabata's Kalia closing down Kukurea, but he does well, doesn't panic, and lays it back to Unai Simoni's goalkeeper. Nil nil. Yeah, he's done well there because Kabata's Kalia was in there. He, he sent something there, but Kukurea has done, he's done well just down this left hand side. Not really had to defend too much. But him and Nico Williams have got a nice little understanding. Every single time he goes inside, Nico Williams goes in the outside, little one-twos of getting some balls into the box. Been impressed with his left hand side so far. That's where Spain have done the majority of their attacking. They've not left the right side completely alone, but here's Nico Williams again to emphasize Darren Bent's point. Kukurea works it back to Laporte, just ahead of the center circle. To his right is his center half partner, Lenormand. Now, Lamine Yamal up against Lotosvili, down the right hand side, drives for the byline, runs out of room. Corner given though, the last touch came of Lotos Vili. Corner number six for Spain in minute number 16, nil-nil. Yeah, good defender, I thought your mouth ran out of space. I think he tried to, I think he's even fortunate there. I don't think he even touches the ball. I don't think it should be a corner, but they've got it, and that's your mouth being positive. Looks like zonal marking for the most part from Georgia. Looking after the six-yard box and really around it. Yamal swings the corner in, headed down and out by Laporte, and it's a goal kick. Didn't get the purchase on the header. He rose well at the far post, a merit Laporte, but the direction of the header was a good five or six yard wide. Goal kick to Georgia. Should have been, should have been a goal kick. Should have been a corner, sorry. Well, well a bit of vice versa then. Going to Georgia. They've got one victory against Spain of Georgia back in the 2016 friendly in Hetafe. Ocrias really was the goal scorer for Georgia that day. But I remind you that Spain beat Georgia 3-1 in Spain and 7-1 in Tbilisi in qualification for this tournament. So Georgia ended up finishing fourth and needed their promotion to Nations League B to get them into the playoffs, which they duly achieved. They beat Greece in a dramatic penalty shootout in Tbilisi to make it here. They just won a free kick for a fairly hefty challenge on uh, Kocharashvili. And Kocharashvili is back on his feet. Kakabati takes the free kick short. Back to Gvelasiani, who goes all the way back to his keeper. Predicting green tonight, Mamadashvili. Here's Kocharashvili back on his feet. Out to the left-hand side. But they've given the ball away, and then Spain presents it straight back to them. Funneled out to the left-hand side. Good skill. And here's Mikkel Tadze. Chance to turn on the halfway line. Rodri trying to close down the space. Fires it out to Kekabadze. Here come Georgia for the first time tonight. Kekabadze's cross to the far post. It's in to Valenskalia. I do not believe it. Kvitsi Valenskalia puts Georgia ahead. 17 minutes gone. It's been all Spain. But then suddenly Kekabadze sprints away down the right. Cross to the far post. Valenskalia stole in. What a story. Spain nil. Georgia won. We spoke about the front two. And it's Mikotan. Tadzi's involved again, he does really well, he gets hold of the ball, he holds off Rodri and plays a delightful ball down the side and the fullback, uh, Kadabadzi, he, he sees it at the back post, Kavrat coming in and he whips the ball in there and I, I don't 
don't even think he knows anything about it. He does it. I think it might even be an own goal, but Kevastalia is the one who's there or thereabouts. And it just hits one of them and goes in. It is a really, really tidy finish. Yeah, it's an own goal. But it's Kevastalia behind them is the one who causes that. But again, Mikko Tadzi, holding strength, ability to hold off Rodri, play that ball down the line. And when they got in there, Kakabadzi, he sees at the back post, there is uh, Kevastalia, puts it in, causes carnage, and Georgia go one up. It's going to go down as a Robin Lenormand own goal. But what a cross from Kakabadze to find his man. And there are Spanish journalists around us with their hands behind their heads, barely be able to contemplate what they're witnessing. 18 minutes gone on Talk Sport 2. You heard me right, Spain nil, Georgia 1. And now, a collector's item from Rodri, a misplaced pass intended for Cucurea. Georgia had the lead, the cross from the right, turned into his own net by the... The, the, well, the waist really or the, the stomach of Robin Lenormand and the incredible is happening again Ball's on halfway with Rodri Pedri loses that to Kocheras Billy Kvalas Kalia in the centre circle can turn Jack Savazzi just to his left Kvalas Kalia goes on great challenge Lenormand that time waited, stuck a foot in, stayed on his feet and one possession back for Spain. Yeah, really good tackle there, but you give those two guys up front Kevin Scalia and Mikko Tadzi, you give them quality service, they can hurt anybody and they've shown already in the first 19 minutes haven't touched the ball much, but still cause problems. Williams into the area for Spain, laid off for Fabian Ruiz, tried to take a touch from turn it onto his left, it allowed Cavalier to get a foot in and get it clear for Georgia. Now Rodri finds Pedri, works it out to the left-hand side. the Laporte will swing across in. Good cross, but there's nobody in there apart from Morata for Spain. And Georgia will get the ball clear. And Clarence Kale is calling for it downfield. And only now does Robin Norman get goal side off him. There was a fleeting moment there, and you spotted it, Darren Bitt, where Kvalas Kelly was a good two or three yards ahead inside his own half of the last defender. If I'm Kvalas Kelly or Mukatadze, I'm not even thinking about coming short dance. Every single time someone's got good possession, running behind, because look, you've got the centre half that we spoke about, Robin Lamont, uh, Norman, Norman, he's on the edge of the, the, the D, the, the centre circle. If Mukatadze just creeps up a little bit, one pass it'll take, and it'll be an on goal. One pass. Talk Sport 2 at Euro 2024. 20 minutes gone. And the unlikely score in Cologne is Spain nil, Georgia 1. Nico Williams though, trying to address the balance, but he runs into trouble. And it's Gotras Billy who's not making one, two, three plays. He's putting out all the tricks and then loses out. Goodness me. Another nutmeg. This time from Kakabadze through the legs of Nico Williams. But then Spain win the ball back. Here's Fabian Ruiz. It deflects and ricochets off a Georgian boot out to Yamal on the right-hand side. Now he's laid it back to Carvajal. Balls all the way back to Lenormand. He's put the ball into his own net. And that is the eighth own goal of these championships. Ball into the end of the area. Driven goalwards. And well saved. Fabian Ruiz with a drive. And Mabadashvili, low down to his left, made a comfortable save to keep it 1-0 to Georgia. Really good goal from there from Mabadashvili. Doesn't spill it, doesn't drop it to an area where he's got Morata coming in and he manages to hold it and just give everyone a breather. But the start from Georgia, again, they've got their tactics perfect. Yes, Spain are going to have a lot of possession here, a good quality side. But honestly, if I'm a Georgian attacker, I'm standing to the midfield players. Listen, every single time you get comfortable possession, do not pass it to my feet. Make me run in behind the Spanish back line because they do not like defending when they're facing their own goal. That's Darren Bent with me, Ian Dancer in Cologne. 1 0 to Georgia, and Czech Patate wins the ball back. And it drifts out to this right hand side. Mikko Tadze can he keep the in play? He can. Tried to play a long ball downfield to get his mate Kvadas Kalia in behind Le Norman, but he was overhit, and Simon was out of his goal. So Georgia lead without having had a touch in the opposition penalty area. It was always going to be this way, Dan. Spain, they're so good in possession. We know how good they are. It's how do you hurt a team like Spain that have got so much possession. But because all of their players can play, including the two centre-halves, if you're, as I said, it's spoken by uh, Kevac Galeo or Mikko Tadzi, not, I'm not saying cheat a little bit, but just start to creep that way onto one of the centre-halves because one pass, you've already shown you're quicker than both centre-halves, one pass will put you in on goal. Spain nil, Georgia 1, midway through the first half on Talk Sport 2. 
Here is Pedro, right hand corner of the box. Fabian Ruiz tries to tee up Yamada, was trying to carry the ball with him into the penalty area, but it was dealt with by the Georgian back line. And it comes back the way of Spain and Laporte out to Cucurea on this near side, the left hand corner of the box. Lays it back to Laporte. Cucurea again out to Nico Williams, left hand side. Patient again for Spain and again Georgia have got everybody behind the ball. Deflects off Pedri into the path of Yamal. Now on the left hand side, Karaskalia inside his own half, plays it out to the left hand side and Lotoshvili. Lotoshvili goes down and wins a free kick for Georgia just shy of the halfway line. Fantastic there again in possession, winning the free kicks. Kokorashvili, they're breaking possession, putting his body in the line, winning it back, driving forward, drawing the foul. They've started off so well. I, I guess the only, the one thing he says, can they keep this up for 90 minutes? They're going to have to, because we know what Spain are like. They'll keep coming, they'll keep possession, they'll keep creating opportunities, and they're going to have to work again. We, we wondered, can they raise it again after the Portugal game? But they're going to have to. Oh, lovely ball from Kokorashvili. And now it's Kvaratskhelia darting through the midfield, players to his right and left. He plays it to his right for Mikko Tzadze, who holds it up despite the pressure from Kokorashvili and then Nico Williams stepped back in superbly for Spain to win it back and now Spain can launch a counter-attack and it's five on four Fabian Ruiz swings the ball out to the right-hand side but Lotos Vili heads the ball up in the air and now Georgia have got more players back behind the ball whilst Lassine, Lamine Yamal has it and he's won a throw of uh, Chak Patadze game swinging from end to end and the rain's starting to come down here in Cologne as well not as biblical as it was last night in Dortmund but it's coming down nonetheless. 24 minutes gone. Spain nil, Georgia 1 is the frankly unbelievable scoreline here. Here's Rodri. Looking for Nico Williams. Another misplaced pass from Rodri. I'm changing these glasses. I'm seeing things I don't expect to see. That's <laughs> why she's done that, Darren. Never gives him away, usually, does he? Here is a medic Laporte for Spain inside left channel approaching the corner of the penalty area sends it out to Nico Williams left hand side and there is very little space for Nico Williams to operate in certainly less than he would have had so far play back to Rodri tries to drive from the 25 yard mark and it was hit straight at Cashier who did well to get it half clear and then it's put behind by Velociani for a corner but the offside flag's gone up against uh, Alvaro Morata and so Georgia actually don't have a corner to defend they've got a free kick of their own 25 gone on talk sport 2 Spain nil, Georgia 1 Darren Benz fascinating really fascinating because every single time the ball goes wide now to Nico Williams or, or Lamine Yamal they're really reluctant to cross the ball in and that's because they've got no draw we spoke about Alvaro Morata being the only centre forward in there it's marked by three three centre halves Divide's getting into him Cashier's getting into him and he's not getting any service at all whatsoever any joy from the crosses they've almost stopped Stop putting him in. Free kick downfield from Mahmoud Ashvili. Just drifts over the head of Kakabadze and Kukurea under no real pressure can tuck it back to his goalkeeper. Unai Simon. David Rea played the third game of the group stage against Albania. The place of Simon, who is the number one for Spain these days. Here is Laporte. Again, driving down the inside left channel, inside the Georgian half. Played it infield to Fabian Ruiz. Ball infield, Petri turns it up to the edge of the area. Morata fighting for the ball. Petri again! Flashes a left-footed drive over the bar. Oh, he caught that at the edge of the 18-yard box with his left foot. Fist towards goal. I don't know how far wide it was, but it can't have been that far wide. Goal kick, 1-0 Georgia. Yes, a chance. I think it's Kakobadze. I think he throws himself in and it just puts him off at the last minute. As he goes to strike it, he throws himself at it and there's no really angle for him to hit. And it hits over the bar. Good defending again. Didn't get the blocking, but just put him off slightly. Spain nil, Georgia 1. Here is Kocharasvili. And it's just the toe the ball. That's a Kakobadze just shy of the halfway line. It's his cross that was turned into his own net by Robin Lenormand for the opening goal. Now, Kitty Esvili wants a foul for obstruction not given by the French referee, so Spain have it on halfway. Rodri flicks it quickly left to Fabian Ruiz. The attempted through ball for Nico Williams was cut out, and Fabian Ruiz runs out of room on this near side. And Darren Bent is absolutely right in what he's just said. This is a fascinating game. 27 minutes gone, and Georgia having the lead. 
ball breaks in the centre circle for the Norman, glides it down for Rodri, early ball into the feet of Morata, did really well to control that, but then the ball intended out for Yamal, saw him slip, and George will bring it away. Left hand side, check for Tadzi, who I've seen play a couple of times for Watford this past season, I was impressed with him in the midfield, and he impressed me against Portugal too, but he can't keep possession down that left hand side for Georgia and Spain have a throw Georgia wandered up 28 gone on talk sport two I think what Georgia have, Georgia have shown is that they can hurt Spain and I think Spain know that which is why they're a little bit reluctant to commit more men forward yes eventually they're going to have to because they're, they're losing 1-0 but every single time that one of the Georgian midfield players gets the ball they're just a little bit anxious in terms of what's going on behind them Rodri floats the ball out to the right hand corner of the penalty area for Danny Carvajal he has to guide it back the square though to Lenorma now Laporte Midway point of the half, he's going to go for goal from distance, always rising, and goes straight through the gap behind the goal into the concourses. That might have knocked a chicken snitchel off the stand somewhere, I imagine. Spain nil, Georgia one. And that just tells you, that option that he chose there, Laporte, he doesn't, he doesn't want to cross it. He's shooting from, what, a fully 30 yards out, he's never ever going to score from there. But that's because he's reluctant to put a cross in because he knows, at the minute, they can get nowhere near it. Three set around for Marco Morata. If they're going to do that, you need Rodri, I know he's a holder, or, or Pedri, another midfield player, getting in the box to try and off put one of the centre halves so that maybe frees up morale because at the minute it's one versus three and he's getting nothing whatsoever Koshiras Philly was fouled they took a quick free kick but they've lost possession here comes Spain with Pedri centre of the Georgian half and he's dispossessed and they send the ball away down the left hand side and it's Kvadas Kalia he's got the Norman back pedaling tries to play it infield it comes back to him edge of the D he's going to lay it up for Koshiras Philly tries to shot it's weak and it's headed back via a deflection to goalkeeper Simon but Georgia when they come forward yes the Spanish defence look nervous as kittens 1-0 Georgia lead on Talk Sport 2 he chose the wrong option when I say he chose the wrong option Kokorash really running down that channel leave him when you've got Karatskalia 1v1 with the, the Norman just leave him let him go past him but the fact that he ran into his face it almost limited to where he could go I want to see him go inside and have a shot Kakabadza steals the ball away from Williams but then he slips as he tried to move in field and Spain have it back Rodri Sends it out to the left wing, and Nico Williams. Kukurea out there with him. Half an hour gone, 1-0 Georgia, if you're just tuning in to this dramatic game on TalkSport 2 in Cologne. Here's Lamine Yamal, the 16-year-old, trying to drive from the edge of the area. Blocked. Comes out to the right-hand side, and Pedri elects not to cross. Carvajal on that right-hand side will guide it back to the Norman. Now Laporte. Georgia got everybody behind the ball. Now it's worked up to the edge of the area. Williams with a nutmeg on Gversiani, but they've won it back and again. It's two on two. Georgia come forward. It's Mikotadze striding into space in the Spanish half. Only Kvanis Keller up with him. Mikotadze goes down. No penalty, says the referee. Right on the spot and said he fell over. And Spain bring the ball clear. 1-0 Georgia. What do you make of that? Darren Benz. He goes the wrong way. Look what does everything well. The runner keeps saying to you, don't come to feet, don't behind, you'll get space. He does that. He makes a really intelligent run, but he tries to go back into where the traffic is. I would have provoked him for him to go on the outside and try and get a shot off. It was 2v2. I think Spain will get in defenders back. But in that situation there, he's right-footed. Go on your right and try and have a shot. Can Spain get back in touch before half-time? Can Georgia keep a 1-0 scoreline through to the break? We played 31 minutes in Cologne on Talk Sport 2. Whistles all around the ground with Spain in possession. The whistles all coming from our left-hand side where the Georgian fans are. Here's Rodri in the centre of the Georgian half. Plays it out to Yamal. Right wing. Cross into the middle looking for Morata, but it's Velasiani who's there this time for Georgia to head it out of play for a throw in. Goodness me. Georgia want you to do that. That's the, that's the service they want. They don't like the little intricate passes. One, two, in and around the box. They want you to keep putting crosses in from that exact area and they'll just keep heading it out all day because they've got a lot of bodies in that area. And now Lenormand just passes the ball straight out of play under pressure from Kodak's Kalia. And it's a throw to Georgia. He's rattled, he is. The Norman, he's rattled. Obviously scored the own goal every single time Kovacskaila gets at him. He backs off, he backs off. And that's why I was saying, in the last instance, Kukarashvili, just leave him. I know you're trying, to, you're trying to make that extra body up there, but just leave him. Let him go at him, go out past him, because every single time he gets it, I mean, even he was the one who made the challenge. I don't think it was a foul, but he was the one who made the challenge with Mikko Tadzi, which could have been a penalty. But not given. Throw in from Georgia. Doesn't reach halfway. Although Spain have given it up, Pedri dispossessed, check for Tadze, 
and Kitty Ashvili exchange passes as well back to Lochos Vili and Diwali under pressure just keeps the ball away from two Spanish players at the corner of the penalty area but Pedri now wins it back for Spain tries to nick it in field for Fabian Ruiz but there is Georgia again and Kitty Esvili plays it up to the halfway line Mikotadze immediately shovels it out left foot for Kalia running at Lenormand again into the area cross comes Carvajal and turns it behind for a corner for Georgia away to our right hand side Georgia lead 1-0 and when they come forward even if it's only two players coming forward they are a threat that's the thing those two Mikotadze and Kovaskalia the partnership they've got every single time one of them gets it they look for the other one and Lenormand he doesn't know what to do I mean in that instance he does quite well but he puts a challenge in and it goes out for a corner every single time if I'm Kevin Scalia I'm not looking at anyone else I'm running completely straight at him and he's going to take the corner Kvitsi Kvitsi from the far side of the field at the south stand end of this ground a right footed in swinger to come from the number seven deep to the far post heads go up Kitty Ashvili was closest to it couldn't get anything on it and it bounces behind on this near side for a Spanish goal kick 11 minutes of normal time remaining this first half on Talk Sport 2 Spain nil, Georgia 1 Darren Bent Willie Stagnall he must be looking at his side and we can hurt them we know everyone's talked about this Spanish team in the possession and you've got to be brave and that's exactly what Georgia are doing they're standing in their shape they know exactly how to hurt Spain don't commit so many men forward you give it to the two boys up front they can cause problems but as I keep saying you look at Laporte you look at um, Lenormand they're playing almost like holding midfield players Yamal now down the right hand side of the penalty area for Spain works his way into the box but Kitty Esbili tries to protect the ball gets it half clear Rodri wins it back for Spain Kukurea up to the edge of the D gets it laid back to him by Pedri goes for a drive brilliant save Marvin Esbili took a deflection but he palmed it away from danger and he goes out to play for a throw another great save from Georgi Marvin Esbili to keep Georgia in front top goalkeeper top goalkeeper in there because he could have parried that anywhere and he parries it out for a throw and really good save but Spain still have it and they've won another corner Fabian Ruiz just smacked it against the defender I think it was Diwali that turned it behind seven corners for Spain ten minutes to half time I almost feel like George are not even worried about the amount of possession that Spain are having I think they expected this well it's 72 to 28 as a percentage none of them are panicking none of them so the corner a left footed in swinger from the far side of the field and it's too deep for everybody in Spanish red goes behind for a goal kick and Laporte looks at the referee says I was caught in the area I was caught in the six yard box but the referee shakes his head and so it's a goal kick to Georgia a skies darken just a little further the floodlights start to, start to take more and more of an effect here at the Cologne Stadium one of two stadiums for these championships the place host to lower league German football amazing to think that Köln were relegated from the Bundesliga last year and Schalke where we were the other day they were relegated the season before but it holds about 50,000 usually I think it's about 45,000 with the seating restrictions here this evening England and Scotland have both played here but right now the story is Georgia nine minutes to half time and they lead the Spanish by a goal to nil but here comes Carvajal marauding down the right hand side for Spain plays a 1-2 with Gamal he'll keep it in play at the dead ball I mean, no he falls over he falls over on the greasy surface and couldn't wrap his foot around the cross and the Georgian fans behind that goal where he slips absolutely loving it yeah he went to put the cross in and the vital moment he slipped I mean the pictures look kind of the top's coming away a little bit but it was, it was the right idea from, from Yamal to roll it down the, the line and Carver got on the outside but in some respects now this is a better performance than the Portugal one yes they probably had less possession but they look more threatening I think every single time they go forward a reminder that Georgia are ranked 74 in the FIFA ranking something tells me once the calculations are made at the end of this tournament they're going up the charts a little bit Spain 8th Ball breaks on halfway for Georgia. Knocked back by Czech Fatadze to Diwali. Plays a neat ball in field for Kocharas Vili. Oh, he just turns away from Fabian Ruiz. Does him completely. And Kitsias Vili takes it out to the left-hand side. Lochos Vili. Velaskelia moves in field. Lochos Vili will just give it back 
into central midfield. Now a ball play through to Mikko Tadze, onside down the left-hand side of the box. Faced up by Lenorman, still has it, crosses to the far post and attempts it overhead, kick nowhere near from Kvaratskhelia. Uh, and Nico Williams rides a challenge and brings the ball clear for Spain. Again, it's four on three if they play the ball right. Morata running through the middle, plays it up to Pedri. Pedri looks for Nico Williams, brilliant first touch inside the box. Goes for goal, saved again by Mohamed Asfili. And cleared away, only as far as Kukurea. Kukurea up to the edge of the area, lays it off to Rodri, out to the right-hand corner of the box, and Pedri checks back onto his left, finds Rodri again at the edge of the D, clips it to Williams, far left-hand side of the box, back to Rodri inside the D, goes for goal, and scores! It's an equaliser, Rodri! Tucked it away with a beautiful left-footed strike into the bottom corner. Nothing that Marvin Ashfield could do about that. And Spain are able to get themselves level before the break. Seven to half time and Rodri makes it Spain 1, Georgia 1. It's a really good finish but I think Kittishvili, I think he goes down with trouble or an injury and I think that's what frees up the space of Rodri. Don't get me wrong, it's a really, really good finish. He clips the ball into the back post and goes to Nico Williams. He stands the defender up, just rolls it to Rodri, he takes it back onto his left foot in the D on the edge of the box and he finds that far corner. I mean, slightly could be slightly offside, maybe Morata's blocking the goalkeeper but I think if Kittishvili doesn't go down with the cramp, he's probably rolling in that area and unfortunately he went down because he was struggling but it's a really good finish from Rodri through catching his legs as well 1-1 one, one Spain that's his fourth international goal and that is actually the first goal in 56 goals that Spain have scored that's come from outside the penalty area and actually you might even claim it was right on the 18 yard line when he finally struck it they don't tend to score goals. There is a goal check that VAR is taking. Potential offside leading up to the goal, says VAR. I think it might be Nico Williams at the back post. When Roger kicks the ball into at the back, he's borderline onside. That borderline. And the Georgian fans are saying, come on, come on. Rule it out, rule it out, rule it out. Well, the VAR are taking a look whilst, of course, the Spanish fans are sort of giving them the... Uh, a bird, I think, might be the appropriate play. But check over, I think the goal's going to stand. Yeah, the goal does stand. It is 1-1. Nothing wrong with the build-up. And Kittius Billy is just limping towards this near side. The Spanish fans have just realised that the check is over and the goal is given. And Kittius Billy looks like he won't be able to continue. He really is moving very awkwardly towards us on this near touch line. And Willie Salgill may be forced into making a change, and indeed he is going to make a change. Well, he was, he's usually patrolling that area. This really, he's usually patrolling it, he's on the edge of the box, he's the one who's in there kind of trying to give that protection to the back line. He was no longer there, he was struggling with the cramp or the injury that he's got, and that freed up Rodri with a touch on the finish. Well, Sandro Altunashvili, who plays his club football for Wolfsburger in Austria, twice the Georgian footballer of the year, winning only his seventh cap, comes on and straight away from the kickoff Petrodas Willi trying to lob Unai Simon from inside the centre circle ambitious goal kick to Spain 1-1 with four minutes of normal time to go in this first half on Torch Court 2 it's such a fascinating game because Spain dominated possession but we've seen already Georgia really causing problems on that counter attack with the two guys up front but now it's can they keep their composure we know obviously it's disappointing when you, you concede this 1-1 you think all that hard work you put in but they've got to stay composed now, here's Nico Williams running into Kakabadze down the right-hand side of Georgia's defence. Goes out of play for a throw. It's given to Kukurea. 1-1 in Cologne. Georgia had the lead. And TalkSport listeners, join us at the Cologne Stadium. Georgia had the lead against Spain. They just equalised the Spanish through Rodri to make it 1-1 here. It was an own goal from Robin the, the Normand in the 18th minute. The first time Georgia had come forward. Kakabati's brilliant cross from the right-hand side. But that's clearly a pressurising the Norman to divert the ball into his own net off his stomach. Spain have been piling forward. They've had nearly three quarters of possession. And in the end, Rodri got them level with a drive from right at the edge of the box. 
when Kitty Ashvili was down, he's just been substituted. Darren Bent, sum up the 42 minutes we've seen for the benefit of the talk sport listeners that have just joined us. Well, Spain have dominated from start to finish, but Georgia have caused them so many problems on that counter-attack. Nico Tadzi and Cavascalia, every single time they go forward, it looks like they can really hurt Spain. But Roger is that guy in the anchor. Every single time he gets on the ball, he's looking forward, and he's the one who gets the goal. Goes out to Nico Williams, who comes back to him, and he just shifts it from right to left, and just drives it through somebody's legs into that far corner. It's been a really fascinating game because you expect Spain to cause all these problems because of the amount of possession they've got. But every single time, Kovacalia or Mikko Tadzi running behind, they're causing Spain so many problems. Throw in from Georgia, won back by Spain, and sent back to Danny Carvajal over here to the centre circle. Pretty much everything up ahead of him. Plays it to his right for the young prodigy, Lamine Yamal, back in field for Carvajal. Now Rodri, who got the equaliser, slips as he receives the ball, but still finds a teammate. And it's given away by Laporte. Cochiras really works it back to Cashier, the captain. And Georgia play out of defence very, very neatly, but Lotros Vili sees the space closed down on that far left-hand side. But it's good, intelligent play, worked up to halfway. Lotros Vili trying to keep it away from Pedri. And he slides in to then keep it away from Morata. And that was a foul by Alvaro Morata, says our French referee, with two minutes to half time. Yeah, he's been booked for it as well. It looked like he slid in, but I think it was the after effects of the challenge, which is what he's got booked for. Because I thought he won it cleanly, but yeah, he clearly, he clearly stamps on, on his leg. And yeah, it's, it's the right decision to, to book him. Commentary continues over on Talk Sport 2 of myself and Darren Bent as we approach half time. Here in a rainy Cologne, it is Spain 1, Georgia 1. And Georgia will have this free kick on their left-hand side, just past the midway point of their own half. So the Spanish captain has a yellow card to match the colour of his armband. And Cavalli will take this free kick. But that's Kalia and Nico Tadze at the other end of the picture, within three yards of each other. Ball goes up to halfway, it's won back by Spain, but then Cashier will guide it down for Veliciani. Kakabadze, the right wing back, receives the ball now. Tries to play a first time ball downfield. It's deflected into the path of Fabian Ruiz. Now Rodri elects to work it back from the Normand in the centre circle. Quick pass out to Yamal on the right wing. Carvajal on the overlap. Yamal goes in field. Laid off by Pedri. Comes to Fabian Ruiz at the edge of the area. Elects to slide it down the left hand side of the box for Kukurea. Fabian Ruiz again. Cross into the area. Headed away, but there's a push on uh, Cashier, the captain. And Georgia have another free kick as we edge towards added time on Talksport 2 at the end of this first half. 1-1. One, one. Really good header from Goran Cashier. But he's done that really well all this first half. Every single time they start to put the ball in the box and that type of delivery, that type of cross, he's been the one there heading the ball away. And I've said, Spain are not going to score a goal like that because there's three set of arse in there that are clearing everything. It's got to be the perfect pass for Morata from just score that type of header. It's meant to be like they did before. Work at the edge of the box and then Roger get a shot off. Minimum of two minutes additional time that's what we're into now here in Cologne one on the score and the goal kick from Mohamed Ashvili intended for Kakabadze on this near side was over hit goes straight out of play for a throw and just for a moment a silence around the Cologne stadium it's been all noise in this first half and now the whistles go up from the Georgian fans to the left of Spain come forward again Fabian Ruiz out to Nico Williams on this near side the Spanish left has to roll the ball back to halfway. Yamal takes over on the inside right channel, plays it out to Carvajal, gets it back. Yamal. He's got Czech Patate watching his every move. Infield it goes to Rodri at the right hand corner of the penalty area. Quick feet out to Pedri on the right hand side, checks onto his left foot, doesn't cross, works it back to Yamal. Yamal's going to try and go for goal. He scored against Georgia on his debut, but that shot was blocked by Kvaraskalia. Rodri now slides it down the right-hand side for Pedri, who's got Diwali watching him now. Pedri gets half a yard, gets the cross in, it's flicked away from Morata by Gvelasiani. But it's Kukurea trying to put the ball back across the face of goal from the left-hand side. Blocked again by Georgian defenders. And so Nico Williams has to retrieve it on this near touchline and feed it back to Emedic Deport. Fabian Ruiz infield for Rodri, gets his head up, wants an option, slides it to his right, to the corner of the box for Yamal. Yamal, lovely reverse ball for Carvajal, gets to the byline, tries to pull it back, and that allowed Lotros Vili to slide in and put it out of play for corner number eight of this first half of Spain, 1-1. Good defending there from Lotros Vili. I think 
Danny Carvajal goes down the outside. I think he's reluctant to just clip it because he knows all day, all the whole first half, the Georgian defenders have been heading it away. He was looking for that little cutback, but it just wasn't on. Corner to come from Williams, left footed in swinger over the head of Marvin Ashvili and Lotoshvili there again to head it out of play on this near side for corner number nine at the end of this first half for the Spanish. 1-1. One, one. They've dealt with this, this set play because I mean nine corners is, is must, be, must be a record too. But every single time they put that delivery in, it's heading it away. In swinger to come from Williams from this near side, hits the first defender. And the referee brings a scintillating first half to a close here in Cologne. And Georgia are being rapturously applauded off the field by their supporters. More muted applause from the Spanish fans to our right-hand side. But Georgia, having barely had a kick in the opening quarter of an hour where Spain completely dominated, opened the scoring on 18 minutes without even touching the ball in the opposition box. It's a brilliant cross from Kakabadze from the right, turned into his own net under pressure from Kodatskalia by Robin Lenormand, the Spanish centre-half. And Spain kept pushing, kept probing, and they did finally get their equaliser six minutes from the break. Rodri driving the ball home clinically from the edge of the area. But this game is set up for more twists and turns in the second half here on TalkSport 2. At the break, it's Spain 1, Georgia 1. Thanks, Hugh. And if Georgia were able to make it through to the quarters on debut, they'd be the fourth side ever to do it. Croatia were the first in Euro 96 back at home and both Wales and Finland managed it in Euro 2016 in France but there's a long way to go here Spain having got themselves level but have had a flea in their ear from Luis de la Fuente at half time we're back underway on Talk Sport 2 Georgia in there white shirt shorts and socks with a vertical red stripe down the front and back of their jerseys they're attacking the end to our left the North Stand which is where their beloved Georgian fans are situated Spain in the red and blue coming forward in these early stages Fabian Ruiz drives the ball wide doesn't catch it right from 25 yards out so yeah red shirts red socks blue shorts for Spain and a quick run through the lineups for Spain Simon in goal Carvajal Lenormand Laporte Kukadea Pedri Rodri Fabian Ruiz Yamal Morata and Williams for Georgia Mavadashvili the keeper, Gulasiani, Kasia, Kivali, Kakabadze and Lotosvili the wing backs, Jack Fatadze, Kocha, Kocharashvili and Altanashvili who came on as a substitute late in the first half, Nikotadze and Karatskalia in attack. So a minute gone after the restart. It is 1 1 here on Talk Sport 2 at the Cologne Stadium. Spain in possession with Mark Kukurea of Chelsea finding Manchester City's Rodri. Gives it back to a former Manchester City defender, Laporte. Now Carvajal looks for Yamal on this near side to us now in this second half, the right-hand side of the young star. Pedri turns away from Kocadasvili and finds the Norman, but a heavy touch from Rodri, and suddenly away goes Mikko Tadzi into the Spanish half. Tries to nutmeg Laporte, but Laporte was too wise for that and got back and was able to clear his lines and that spares Rodri's blushes who did a bit of a Steven Gerrard on the halfway line I think I've seen him give the ball away more times in this game than he did the whole of the Premier League season all 38 games I mean David got lucky got fortunate uh, it was a good defender from the port getting back into that system but the way Spain playing this 4-3-3 it, 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 it's so fluid it's so they, they know exactly what they're doing and again Georgia in this 5-3-2 system they can cause some problems on that counter attack Morata whips across him for the right hand side but far too much on it for anybody in the box but Kukurea has retrieved it on the far touch line drives it along the deck into the near post and Velociani will just put it out of play for a Spanish throw 10 yards on the corner flag on that far side of the field what rain there was in the air appears to have largely disappeared during the half time period as long as it don't come back like it did last night well we're not having that again <laughs> boy oh boy that was biblical wasn't it Woo! Thunder, lightning, everything. Michael Oliver. <laughs> you have to bring him up again. Here's Rodri for Spain. Plays it right for Carvalho. First time ball in field for Pedri, but little toe poke to win it back. 
for Georgia and Kalia carrying the ball over the halfway. He's trying to beat the keeper. Oh, it's just oh. Oh. Post. He spotted Uno Simon off his line and tried to beat him from the halfway line. And it only just went the wrong side of the post from Kalinchi Kalia. Incredible attempt. One one it stays. If that goes in, it's goal of the tournament. It's goal of the tournament. He's on his weaker foot. He's running away from goal. He just can't wrap his foot enough around him. But again, the balance, the poise to go between two defenders and spot the goalkeeper off his line. I mean, Simon, it, it's not bothering him because he's now creeping back out again. But that might make him think every single time they win the ball back that it's on. That's good coaching, I would say. That's the coach saying to his players, get your head up and see where he is if you get the ball in those positions. Do you know what? Most players will see that. They said we've got the arrogance, we've got the quality to be able to execute it. And he almost showed, we know he's got the quality right. and he was that close to executing it. Maybe that's why they call him Cavaradonna in uh, Naples. No pressure. <laughs> Yeah, there's a few murals of uh, Maradona <laughs> around that part of the world. <laughs> if you do more to get any up to his level. Spain coming forward with Yamal up to the edge of the area. Plays a little one-two. Ball ricochets away and a free kick's been given because he was fouled inside the D by the captain, Cassia. And Spain have a free kick right in the centre of the D and pretty much in the centre of the half. 1-1. One, one. I think Goran Kasia has got a... No, it's a foul. He's trying to say that, that Yamal slipped. He didn't slip, I think. Goran Kasia thought he was going to pull the trigger and he just put, made, tried to make himself big and he, he dangled a leg out and it's, it's 100% a foul. But it's one of those areas on the edge of the D where I'm not quite sure enough space to get it up and down. I think he's going to go for power from that type of range. Well, this is where the draft excluded behind the wall might actually be useful for once. I don't think I've ever watched a game from Dad's where I've seen anyone go under the wall and it go in. No. So I almost feel like why George put someone there. Well, the Georgian wall is now being moved back to around about 10 yards from goal. Lamine Yamal and Nico Williams are the two players standing over it. Left or right for delivery. Mohamed Ashbili just getting his wall in the right place. There is a draft excluder lying behind the... One, two, three, four, five-man Georgian wall. But they need to get some behind the Spanish wall. The Spanish wall is just to the left as we look, standing by the penalty spot, basically, just masking Marmon Ashvili's view. He's trying to peer around his own wall to see who's going to hit this. It's going to be left for Yamal! Great save! Pushed it out strongly with two right palms. Amazing stop. Because it was on target. Pedri now for Spain. Works it out to Yamal on this right-hand side. Lovely cross. And it's in. Spain lead. And it's headed in by Fabian Ruiz. The ball in from Lamine Yamal was just beautiful. Aching to be headed home. And Fabian Ruiz from close range did the rest. Marvin Ashbilly couldn't keep it out. And either side of half-time, Spain have taken the lead. It's Spain 2, Georgia 1. That goal is all about that. the man Yamil. He comes out on that left foot and he just leaves it in an area. He doesn't try to put too much pace on it. He just kind of drops it into that back post. And to be fair, Fabian Ruiz, he keeps himself on side and he just peels off behind Cashin. I mean, he's clearly two yards offside. And from that range there, if you head it down into the ground, it's very rare the goalkeeper get, can get down and make the save. And he does that. He heads it down. He hits the goalkeeper's body. Mamadas really but he can't keep it out it's a really good header but the ball from Yamel is incredible that's exactly the only way from across he's going to score not whip it in there leave it in an area and let him come and attack it great header as well from Fabian Ruiz for his fourth international goal and the change has been made and Danny Olmo has come on to replace Pedri as soon as that goal hit the back of the net so it's 2-1 Spain and they've made their first change of the night. To bring on Danny Olmo for Pedri. Ball's given away by Georgia at the end of their own area. Yamal going to go for goal, tracks it wide with his left foot. Just didn't get hold of it the way he would have wanted. And Georgia have just got to keep their composure here. Otherwise, Spain could completely run away with this round of 16 tie. Yeah, got, as you said, that's, that's the right word, composure. They can't be now playing the way that haven't been planned. Yes, they're losing, but stick to the tactics. If you stay, to, stay disciplined and stay doing what you've been doing for this game, you will get opportunities. You've seen uh, Kevat Scalia have a tempt from the halfway line. What you don't want to do is 3-4 because you're chasing the game to stay in shape. I know it's only 2-1, but eventually you're going to have to come out and try and get that goal. But while it's still only 2-1, you will create other opportunities. 
So Danny Olmo is on, he's just trying to close down the space on this near side. Place for Leipzig in the Bundesliga, but was a Barcelona youth, never played for Barca. He's been linked with a move back there in this window. I think Liverpool will be looking at Danny Olmo as well. Father Half for Spain, they lead 2 1, 53 minutes played on Talk Sport 2. Olmo gets his first touch. Works it back to Lenormand. He must be bringing a huge sigh of relief now. Yeah. Forgot about his performance in the first half. Spain in possession. Morata, the captain, comes very short to pick up the ball from Fabian Ruiz. And that's worked back to Laporte on halfway. Morata went down theatrically having laid the ball off. But the referee said no foul, just get on with it. What George you need to understand is they're not in crisis yet. It's only 2-1. Uh -huh. I get it. It's 15 minutes gone. They've got plenty of time to get themselves back into it. Don't chase it. Don't run out of position. Stay compact. Stay in shape. And the way that you've been playing, opportunities will present themselves. Spain have it with Morata. Trying to work it out to Yamal on this near side. It's one back by Lotosvili. Carrying it up to the halfway line. But that's Kalia calls for it and picks it up now. To Stan Manifas on this left-hand side. Cuts in field on his right. Tries to nutmeg Fabian Ruiz, but that's great defending from the Spanish number eight to win it back and calm things down for the three-time European champions. That's Fabian Ruiz realising that the Norman was in trouble there, just coming over and making that extra body. Because the way that Cavascaler was running at him was going to cause him problems. Now Nico Williams in space down the left-hand side of the area. Faced up by Villasiani. Lays it back to the left-hand corner of the area. But Kukurea works it in field for Morata. Morata working space for a shot, but it's dragged it wide by a couple of yards. And Georgia have a goal kick. Nearly ten minutes gone in the second half here in Cologne. On Talksport 2, it's Spain 2, Georgia 1. Darren that, Bent. Don't mind that from Avata Morale. Getting on the half turn on the edge of the box. Trying to get a shot off. What he's trying to do is go between the legs of the defender. Just to unsight the goalkeeper a little bit. But Mamela Spinning, I think he was wise to it. Because I think even if it had hit the target, he'd have saved it. Mamadash Billy clears his lines up to the halfway line, flicked on by Kakabadze looking for Mikotadze. It's a good ball into the centre circle of a check for Tadze. Quick feet from him to get away from Yamal, driving down the centre of the field. He tried to play it out to his mate, but that's Kalia, but put too much on it. It's out of play for a Spanish throw. So he wants Spain. Unfortunately, that track for Dadzi. Done, done the right thing, got his body in, went past me. Okay, he's trying to give the ball to Karatskalia at every opportunity. But there, you're driving, you've got the freedom in the, the half. He's driving it and try and get a shot off, or try and commit someone, and then lay it off. I think he, he tried to get rid of the ball a little bit too early. So Spain take the throw. Ooh, that's the slip from Rodri again. Works it back to his keeper, Simon, and he passes out to the left-hand corner of his own box for Kukurea. Good ball. Downfield picked up by Fabian Ruiz. Pass into the centre circle for Morata. Morata though, heavy first touch allows Georgia to win it back. Here's Kvaratskhelia now running at the back line again. Carvajal looks to help out the Norman. Still Kvaratskhelia goes on, but then Carvajal steps in and wins it back and goes down in a heap inside his own penalty area. Oh, and then Kukure is caught late by Czech for Tadze. No yellow card, it would appear as Kukurea is chopped to the ground. Carvajal still stayed down after dispossessing Pelascolia. And it's 2-1 to Spain. We play 56 and a half minutes. And eventually Spain will get a free kick here in Cologne. There's one or two Georgian fans throwing plastic glasses from that end of the field onto the into the 18-yard box, and we do not want to see that. No, we don't. I mean, Danny Carvalho there goes down like he's been absolutely bamboozled by something. It was a, a slight tug on his shoulder. I get it. He's played all the tactics, all the tricks, wasting a bit of time, but there are things I don't like to see. Spain two, Georgia one. Fabian Ruiz with the three goals in his last four caps for Spain. He got one in 22 caps before that. Remember, he was. Out of the picture, recalled by Luis de la Fuente to the Spanish lineup, and he has proved a very important cog in that Spanish midfield. But they've conceded for the first time at these championships, even if it was an own goal early in the piece. If you're brave, if you're brave against these top teams, Dance, you'll get opportunities. If you sit in there and wait to get beat, it's going to be a long evening. But Georgia have been brave. They tried to commit more men forward and they've managed to get themselves a goal. Yamal down this right-hand side of Spain. Good, tenacious work from him, actually, under real pressure from Lochosvili, but he kept hold of the ball. 
and works it back to the Normand. And now Fabian Ruiz, whose header has Spain ahead. Correa out to Williams on the left wing. Checks onto his right foot, works it back in field to Fabian Ruiz. Might loft it into the box here. Instead, he tries to play a reverse ball down the left-hand side of the box, but it's toe pokes out of play for a throw to Spain on the far left-hand side of the field. I like what George have done there, they've not come away from what they're doing, they've stayed compact, they've stayed in shape, they've stayed brave, they're still listening to the tactics from the manager, staying disciplined, I think that's going to be key, that's going to be crucial, and then pick their opportunities when they fly forward. Of course as the game progresses they're going to get more and more tired, but again when that next opportunity comes, they have to take it. There's the port, finding Rodri, now Kukure inside left channel. Work back to Rodri once more. Square ball to his right for Norman moving into the Georgian half. Now on the inside right channel is Carvajal out to the wing and Yamal looking to run at Lotos Philly. Turns it behind for a corner to Spain. You're listening to Euro Game Day Live on TalkSport 2 presented by Burger King. Bring home the ultimate food satisfaction. Get your favourites delivered now. So Spain with their 10th corner of this encounter. It's a short corner. Jamal from this right hand side rolls it back to Olmo at the edge of the D but his shot is blocked by Kvalats Kalia and then between Kukurea and Fabian Ruiz they fire it back to Unai Simon who takes the ball on his chest midway point of his own half and his ball downfield is headed back over the halfway line by Diwali but Georgia can't keep possession Spain have it back the next time Willis Sanyol shuffles his back will be very interesting down there in terms of what he does from the substitutes bench to try and change things. He's going to have to, he's going to have to fresh it up somehow because his players have worked incredibly hard today. They put a shift in, they played really well, stayed disciplined, they're not really allowed too many gaps. I mean, if you look at every single Georgian player, there must be about a five to ten yard that kind of space between them, so they're not allowing them to play through them. But eventually, as they spank keep pro progressing with the ball, they're going to get more and more tired. Yamal cuts in field up to the edge of the area, looking to find Murata but Georgia gets some vital touches and get it out of their own penalty area Kakabadze fires it up to halfway looking for Kvalas Kalia but it's well intercepted by Emeric Laporte on his chest lays it off to Kukurea down the left hand side plays it once here with Gamal who's gone out there to join him just for the moment and now Williams works it back in field to Fabian Ruiz Carvajal brings it down on his chest Works it out to Danny Olmo, who's on the right wing station for the moment for Spain. Very calm and measured from Spain at the moment, having this lead. But an hour gone on Talk Sport 2. Now Fabian Ruiz tries to quick it up for a moment. Georgia blocked the run. So it goes back to Kukurea on the left hand side. Williams calling for it on the wing. Up against Kakabadze. Cuts it field onto his right. Finds him out at the edge of the area. Space for Fabian Ruiz. Actually looks to tee up Danny Olmo. Danny Olmo goes for goal and is blocked away by Cashier. And Georgia should be able to get it clear. And Nico Tadze brings it away down the left hand side. But there's so many Spanish shirts back to cover. Four against one. He was never going to win that battle. No, and he, he almost ran into the bodies as well. I'd rather him stop waiting for possession to come up. Is that his teammates would come and help him out. Go inside and then go again. But he tried to kind of go one before. He was never going to get past Carvajal and, and, and Ruiz. Fabian Ruiz and of course Le, Le Norman was inside as well. Kukurea a left hand side for Spain. They lead 2-1 just past the hour mark here in Cologne. Then we get we've got more games for you tomorrow. France Belgium from Dusseldorf at 5 o'clock on Talk Sport with Adrian and Jim Proudfoot, Stuart Pierce and Emmanuel Petit on our commentary team. And then Portugal against Slovenia from Frankfurt at 8 pm with Hugh Wilson Croft. He's going to be there with Joe Shannon and Chris Wellemo. And the round 16 completes on Tuesday with Romania, Netherlands and Austria, Turkey again. Both live on TalkSport, 5 o'clock and 8 o'clock respectively. TalkSport breakfast live from Düsseldorf tomorrow with Jeff Stelling and Gabi Agbon the Hall. White and Jordan also here in Düsseldorf to do the 10 to 1 shift. Change coming up for Georgia. It's a double change. Davitashvili and Sichashvili are coming on. It was given away to Yamal at the edge of the area. Throws it wide in the post for Spain. Massive chance for 3-1 and surely to put the game to bed. 
but he snatched at the shot and here comes the double change for Georgia 2-1 Spain Darren Bent Jamal his touch his touch is all wrong and that's why he doesn't get a good shot here when it comes from the near to the box he can't get his touch out of his feet if he moves it out of his feet the next touch is a, a cleaner strike because it's stuck under his feet he takes one he takes two and by the time he hits the shot he can't really generate any kind of power or direction he's better than that well, the changes that are being made, see uh, Czech Patate come off to allow Zuriko Davitashvili to come on, and Georgi Tetashvili is coming on for uh, the fullback Lochoshvili, the wing back. So, a double change for Georgia. Davitashvili, who plays the midfield, plays for Bordeaux in France. And Sitchias Philly plays for uh, Dinamo Batumi on the under-20 World Cup, but he was a Ukrainian youth player. And the change for Spain, they're going to make a defensive ch change, are they? No, it's going to be Oyazabal is going to come on the Sociedad forward. And Grimaldo maybe coming on at left-back for Kukadeo, we'll wait and see. Here is Rodri, meantime, across to Fabian Ruiz, who headed home Spain's second to give him this 2-1 lead on TalkSport 2. Kukurea into the feet of Morata at the edge of the area with his back to goal. As he goes to Williams, Kukurea out there supporting him, onside, gives it back to Williams. Short one and two touch passing from Spain at the moment, just knocking it around and keeping possession and trying to frustrate their opponents the completed pass being cheered now Williams darts down the left hand side receives it from Kukurea but runs out of room he has won a corner though for Spain in front of their adoring spans away to our right hand side Spain 2 Georgia 1 11th corner for Spain a really direct play from Nico Williams they kept possession on that kind of left hand side really nice from Fabian Ruiz Rodri was over there Morata got involved but the moment Nico Williams got the, the full back isolated uh, Kakabadzi he was straight at him trying to get past him and then inside the corner Short corner, left-hand side for Lamine Yamal. He's going to take on the forward and get the cross in. It's blocked away. Check the tactic. Kept it out there. It's actually uh, now for another corner. They're 12 of the game, Spain. 25 minutes to go. Whips into the near post by Williams, and then it came off the defender. Well, Norman lashed the ball off his chest. He really didn't know much about it. Here comes the double change for Spain. And coming off, Mark Kukurea is indeed making way for the man who's also keen to be the regular left back for Spain, Alex Grimaldo by Leverkusen. What season he's had for Leverkusen. So that's the first change. And the other change, we'll see Mikel Oyazabal of Real Sociedad. He's coming on. And the fourth official hasn't held the board up yet. And it's Alvaro Morata that's coming off the captain who's been booked. So, like for like. Probably just protecting Alvaro Morata down Bent as he's on a caution. Who knows? Yeah, potentially. He's not really got the service today. He had the one snapshot probably about five minutes ago where he didn't hit the target. But other than that, I think they've dealt with him really well, George. They've kind of limited him to, to, that, to that pop shot. The crosses that comes in there was a defender rules up against him. Didn't give him any kind of space, any free headers. And yeah, he didn't, didn't really get involved as much as I've seen him, certainly in this tournament so far. So the changes are made. Ayatabal going through the middle, like for like switch. And Georgia have themselves a free kick inside their own penalty area. Knocked downfield up to the halfway line, flicked on to find Mikotaz in the centre circle, but David Ashwini couldn't get the ball back. And so Spain in possession once more. With the man has now got the captain's armband off Morata, Rodri. He scored the equaliser just before half time. Fabian Ruiz put Spain in front just after half time. We're midway through the second half on Talk Sport 2. Georgian fans away to our left doing the thunderclap and trying to trying to get a second wind out of their players to so try and get themselves level. They're going to need it because they've worked so hard. When they've worked hard the last two games, the Portugal game and now this game, and it looks like they're just potentially running out of steam, so they've got to keep making a few changes. But they've got to keep believe, believing. I think that's the biggest thing. Nico Williams finds Danny Olmo at the edge of the area, but his touch eludes him. 
and Georgia have it back. Davitashvili rolls it out to this near side and Tichyashvili plays the ball infield to Kocharashvili, the central midfielder. Back to the edge of the area, Kvelasiani. Looks for Kakabadze, the right wing back, but gets up to the halfway line, plays the ball in field to Kvelaskalia, running in field, oh the space on this left hand side, but Tichyashvili drives it wildly, wide of the post, oh a rush of blood to the head, but Tichyashvili, when well, he was so well placed, intelligently found by Kvelaskalia's pass as he ran in from the left hand touch line, but his shot was well, well wide, goal kick Spain, 2-1. Poor, poor decision, really poor decision, and, and those type of situations can cost you, because you're not going to see much of the ball Spain have been dominated when you get into those areas you have to pick the right pass or if you're going to shoot go across goalkeeper where you might make a save you might take a deflection and you might get yourself back into it when you go for the near post and you don't hit the target you're almost letting Spain off the hook really poor decision there from Tishas Villa Spain 2 Georgia 1 Ian Danter and Darren Bent with you here in Cologne with Spain having just over 20 minutes to see themselves through to a game on Friday against the host Germany in Stuttgart. That's the prize for the winner of this round of 16 time. Olmo out on the left hand side for Spain, midway point of the Georgian half. It's worked back to the halfway line, knocked across to the Normand. Now Carvajal finds Jamal up against the Chashvili. Different opponent for the youngster. Then Rodri fires it across to find Ronaldo, left-hand corner of the penalty area, lays it back to Fabian Ruiz, who tried to drive, and it's well, well over the top. Goal kick to Georgia, just over 20 minutes to play. Georgia may well get increasingly more open in their quest to get an equaliser to try and force extra time here. Well, at some point they're going to have to, they're going to have to open up a little bit, and know it maybe comes away from what they've done really well so far in this game. I guess if you're Spain, you're, you're kind of expecting that, so you're thinking, the more they push forward, we just commit one or two more men forward, maybe we leave Yamal up, leave Nico Williams out, that might just cause some problems, and certainly in the, the final 20 minutes. Short free kick for Georgia, inside their own half, Divali rolls it into the feet of David Ashbili, neat turn to get away from Yamal, he's got Mikotadze out with him on this left hand side, level with the edge of the area, David Ashbili runs into trouble, keeps possession though somehow, and then Yamal steps back to win it back calmly for Spain. Olmo, inside his own half, looking for an option. Plays it infield to Fabian Ruiz, up to the halfway line. Gives it back to Olmo, who's now just inside the Georgian half. He's caught by David Ashvili, and he's only just on the field, David Ashvili, but he's earned himself a yellow card from the referee. 2-1 Spain. I think he slips. I think he's a bit unfortunate there, David Ashvili. I don't think he goes to anything with militia. I think he just slips and catches him last minute. I mean, you can see quite there, clearly there from that replay that he does slip. He is a very bad challenge, so he probably did deserve <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> did deserve the book. I think he slipped after the challenge. So I was do a bit of credit when you have monitors. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to give him a little credit there. Give him a little credit saying that he didn't mean it, but I think quite clearly from that replay he did. You could have stuck with it. <laughs> <laughs> Spain 2, Georgia 1. With 20 minutes to go on Talk Sport 2. Spain have it on halfway with Laporte. <laughs> Out to the left hand side and Grimaldo. Williams out on his outside of him, works it back to the halfway line in the port. Now Fabian Ruiz takes over, slides it back out to Nico Williams on that left-hand side. Again, Spain being very patient. Now it might come in from Grimaldo, left-hand side as he gets towards the final. And good cross, but a comfortable claim from Marmad Ashvili, patting it down and then bowling it out underarm to David Ashvili. Sitchashvili actually forced to turn back to his own back three. Played across the goal by Diwali. And Mamadash really kept the ball an inch or two clear from Nico Williams. That was close. Now, ball over the top trying to get Mikko Tadzi away, but that's well defended by Laporte. It is a Georgian throw, though, on halfway. 2-1 Spain. Fair play, Georgia, because they're still trying to play out from the back. But I know it's a little bit hard in mouth situations when they do it across their own box, but they're doing it. And to be fair, they are creating that overload because Spain down press. And if they do get it right and they pass it out, they find themselves past the, the press and in on Spain's midfield. So you've got to stick to it, but at some point, they're going to maybe go a little bit more direct. In the centre circle, Rodri, who now has the captain's armband for Spain, steps away from Mikotadze. Now Grimaldo, out to the left-hand side, and Nico Williams gives it back to Grimaldo. Infield for Fabian Ruiz. Georgia holding their defensive line a good 25 yards from goal. 
as Grimaldo picks it up once again the left back Williams chalk on his boots looking to tease Catabanti once more but he just flicks it back to Grimaldo for a second time back it goes to Laporte again Spain being very very patient in possession and almost challenging Georgia to come and try and get the ball off them just tempted them out on there and to be fair they haven't bit yet Georgia they're staying in shape they're staying disciplined because again when one of them goes and two of them goes and then it all sit as a, as a compact unit Spain will just play through them they're far too good of a team for you to, to be able to go and press on ones and twos you have to go all together 17 minutes to go on talk sport two Spain two Georgia one the Spanish coming forward down this near side to us there right with Lamine Yamal who's ridden the challenge works it into the area Danny Olmo gives it back to Lamine Yamal across the face of goal and it's got him for an own goal but the flag for offside has denied Spain a third it had been turned into the net by a Georgian defender after Yamal has snaked his way into the area but it's been ruled out and Georgia will get themselves a free kick that is Yamal offside as the ball's played back to him we've just seen the freeze frame I think my boot well we saw Thomas Delaney offside by a toenail last night on the semi-automated offside so the VAR hub will have a check I mean your ma your mouth was so positive though isn't he yeah I mean he gives a poor ball to Danny Carvajal who plays it behind him and then he drives with it goes on the, the inside creates that, that, that opportunity and it's it's unfortunate because he, he was offside I think by a boot and it's been given as offside so we play on at 2-1 and now we've got 16 minutes to go in Cologne on Talksport 2 Kocherashvili Plays the ball up to the halfway line. Carvajal nods it down, keeps it away from David Ashkeli, but then Kalats Kalia takes the ball off the toe of the defender and Nikotadze shows great tenacious strength on this inside left channel. Cuts in field. David Ashvili takes over, plays it to the right-hand side of the box. It doesn't find Kalats Kalia. Nikotadze stayed down at the edge of the Spanish box. And meantime, Spain come forward at the other end with Nico Williams. He's got a Yazabal up with him, but he writes a defender, goes alone, and Nico Williams makes it safe for Spain with a quite superb individual goal. He's deserved that for the effort he's put in tonight. Georgia is surely beaten. Spain will surely go through to face the host in Stuttgart, courtesy of that third goal from one of their young stars, Nico Williams makes it Spain 3, Georgia 1. The first time Georgia maybe commit maybe too many men forward. It's almost a long pass and Nico Williams is on. He's on that left-hand side. He's in his own half. So he's clearly on side. And once he gets into this position here, 1v1, I mean, it's, it's, it's so direct. It's so positive. He just drops that little shoulder, goes on the outside. But when he gets into the box, he almost sits the goalkeeper down and just drills it into the roof of the net. It's a really good finish, really composed finish. Because a lot of young players in that situation might be up for power. He doesn't, just shifts it inside, waits for the goalkeeper to move just fractionally and just lifts it over his shoulder. Really nice finish, 3-1 Spain. Nico Williams of uh, Athletic Club, winning his 18th cap tonight, now has three international goals. Meantime, Nico Tadz has only just got to his feet at the other end of the pitch. But Nico Williams... His brother, Inaki Williams, actually plays his international football for Ghana. But Nico opted for Spain. And he's won the Copa del Rey with Athletic Bilbao. Man of the match in that game as well, in the final. And that's been linked with a move away. And everything he does with this sort of it just adds a naught to the price, I imagine. But he's made it 3-1, and I think Darren Bent with 13 minutes to go. That's probably made the game safe for Luis de la Fuente and Co. Yeah, I think so. I think Spain now will just keep possession uh, and almost um, that submission in by their respects to Georgia. I mean, Georgia have done really well, they've worked hard. But when Spain just keep moving the ball, they're going to be chasing shadows, it's going to be difficult. But again, that goal that Nico Williams scored, that's all about when you've got someone who's as talented as he is in a 1v1 situation. He's in again, as Olmo flicks it into the left-hand side of the area. Right one challenge, sits up Olmo over the shot. He's weak and saved by Mohamed Ashvili. Stays 3-1. They're really tame there from, from, from Almo, Danny Almo. He should, he should do better there. But as I was saying about Nico Williams, when you've got a player who's that talented in the final third at 1v1s, don't go over there in crowded space. Everyone ran away from him and allowed him to go 1v1 with uh, Kakabadzi. At the moment you get him in that type of situation, no one can stop him. 
Jesus Navas, 38 years young, is going to come on for Spain in a minute. And so too uh, is Kvek uh, Veskiri for Georgia and Zivivadze. We'll get to those in just a moment. 3-1 to Spain. Two Georgian players collide with each other on the halfway line, but I mean, Yamal was the man caught in the sandwich. And he committed the foul, actually, on uh, Kocharashvili. So it's going to be a free kick to Spain. Uh, to Georgia, rather. I beg your pardon. Right on the halfway line, taking short. But actually, before he can take it, Willie Samuel wants to make this double change. And so, Kvek Veshkiri is going to come on to replace Velasiani, who picks up a knock in the last game. And has been fit enough to be part of this. So... It was clearly comes on to him. Nico Tadze, who did pick up an injury as that goal was scored, he is going to come on. He's going to come off rather to allow Sibi uh, Badze to come on wearing number eight for Georgia. He's had an outstanding tournament. Nico Tadze, he's been absolutely fantastic. Three goals. Oh, now Georgia coming up the other end, but oh, and you know, Simon kept the ball from going out the. His own 18-yard box, he nearly carried the ball out the 18-yard box on this near side of the right. But in the end, he managed to grab hold of it and keep it inside his area just in time. I think you're a Georgian fan, you're proud of every single one of these players. I think they put a shift in, they're up against Portugal, who a lot of people fancied as the favourites for this competition, up against Spain, another one who was fancied as the favourites. And you've had to work incredibly hard in a short space of, short space of time, they've done themselves proud. Jesus Navis and Marino still wait to come on for Spain. Williams, meantime, who scored his first goal since he scored against Georgia in the 7-1 in September. With that third goal... Laporte keeps it away from Perez Kalia on halfway. Knocked down by Fabian Ruiz for Grimaldo. Williams again starts to make a darting run down the left-hand side, but not used on this occasion. Rodri, just ahead of the centre circle, plays it to his right for Yamal. Looking dangerous up to the edge of the area. Plays a 1-2 with Olmo, goes through and tries the shot from close range that's blocked behind by Marmon Ashvili for another Spain corner. 3-1 they lead. Should square it, should square it. I mean, it's a really good play from Lamine Yamal. The little 1-2 with, with Danny Almo when he's in, but he's got to square it. If he squares it, they tap it in the empty net, but he went for glory. And I'm, not, I'm not mad at him. I mean, I think he played really, really well today. It's a great save from Marmon Ashvili. But in that situation there, if the game was tight, we've got to square it. Well, Danny Carvajal is coming off for Spain to allow Jesus Navas to come on and Fabian Ruiz who scored the second he's coming off to allow Marino to come on so Navas for Carvajal and Mikel Marino who plays for Sociedad so another Sociedad player out there who's going to come on and uh, Rodri is coming off No, he's not. He's not coming off. It was, it was Carver Haller went round the other side and so too did Fabian Ruiz. I think Rodri thought he was coming off for a moment. Here's the corner. Punched half clear by Marmon Ashbilly and he was being fouled. So it's a free kick to Georgia. And we have nine minutes left on TalkSport 2. England having won earlier today. We'll pick the bones out of that fully on TalkSport Breakfast Live from Dusseldorf tomorrow morning with Jeff Stelling and Gabby Bonhoor out here with us. You're listening to Euro Game Day Live on TalkSport 2 presented by Carling, the UK's number one lager, 18 plus. Please drink responsibly. Ian Dancer and Darren Bent with you. Cubus and Croc here with us as well. And the rain starts to team down once again in this part of uh, Western Germany. Balls played back to a oh, lazy pass from Cashier, the captain. Here comes Spain again. Olmo making a strong run through the middle. P. Jamal right-hand side of the box. Gets the shot away and drags it wide again like he did five minutes ago. This time the other post. The right-hand post as we look. Goal kick to Georgia. 3-1 Spain. Again, poor decision. I mean, we know he's left-footed and he tries to come back onto that left foot. There's no space there. When you get rolled the ball from that angle, just take it along across your body onto your right foot. If he does that, he has a cleaner shot of goal. But because he's so predominantly left-footed, 
He's so eager to get back onto the left foot. There's just no space to get a clean shot. So he's never going to score it in near post there. Mamed Billy, too much of a good goalkeeper to hit the ball going there. Zivs Zivadzi loses that on halfway. Georgia trying to win the ball, but it's headed down by Mikel Marino. Danny Olmo in space, into the area, curls it in delightfully for a Spanish fourth goal. Just to add insult to injury, Georgia have worked so hard, but Spain have gone through the gears in this second half. And Danny Olmo of Leipzig makes it safe. Very calm, cool finish from inside the D. Spain are going through to face the hosts in what should be a titanic tussle in Stuttgart. It's Spain 4, Georgia 1. That's some finish, by the way, from Danny Almo. Because he hasn't really got a lot of time to think of it. I mean, they, they, they pen Georgia in. But as it comes to him, it's the first touch that makes his goal. Because he's pinged it in, he just put back onto his left foot, and he just rolls it into that far corner. It's such a tidy finish, because he's not really got a lot of time. I mean, the, the, the Georgian defenders are kind of crowded him out. But it's that first touch where it pops to his right foot, and he chops it back onto his left, all in one motion, and just rolls it just outside the post, and it comes back in into that corner. Really nice finish from Danny Almond. It's his ninth international goal. And his 36th appearance for his country tonight, Danny Almo. And that sets the seal on it. So Josh really receives the ball for Georgia as they restart the game. Relief on the bench for Luis de la Fuente and his coaching staff. He would have been, been stern words with his players at half time. But it's a 90 minute match, not 45, and they've put their opponents to bed effectively in this second half. And Georgia do look a little out on their feet. But you're, you're asking a lot for the Georgian players to be able to put that performance in they did against Portugal four days ago and then go against Spain, one of the favourites for the tournament, to go again and be able to keep that up for 90 minutes. It was always going to be a, a difficult, difficult um, time for them to do that. But Spain, they've been patient and they probably knew that. They probably spoke about it in the changing room at training. Listen, for the first 45, it might be cagey, it might be tight. Georgia will give it everything. But the more we play the way that we play, gaps will appear, which is whether we can take the chances. And to be fair, every single one that's come this second half, they've managed to take it. Simon clears downfield for Spain. That's four goals in seven appearances for Olmo as well, we shouldn't forget. And he also scored in that 7-1 route against Georgia in Tbilisi last autumn. Williams, great strength to get away from his man. Running through the centre, out to the left-hand side of the box. Or Yazabal gets to the byline, dinks it to the far post. It goes beyond everybody inside the area, kept in play. Well, it was nearly kept in play by Jesus Navas. But he let the ball run under his boot. And he's been given the uh, captain's armband by Rodri, incidentally. He's still out there, but that's a nice touch. With Jesus Navas, 38 years of age, 17 years at Sevilla, four years in between at Manchester City, you may remember. But he's back at Sevilla again. That is some stint, 17 years at any club. Wow. That is, that is some going that. Yeah. And he's making his 55th appearance for his country tonight. Ronaldo almost burst through from the left flank for Spain, but Georgia managed to keep possession. And it's worked back to their captain, Cashier. And Diwali at the edge of his own penalty area. Played out to Diwali once more. Gives it back in field. And it's going to be Kirk Pelia. into midfield and it's come back once again to Kvitnish Kiri sitting quite deep in between two of the three centre halves now tries to find Kalats Kaila been dispossessed by Rodri here comes Spain but across comes Cassia to put a right boot in and stop Spain who had an overload of at least five to two if they played the right ball but Georgia have it back Danny Almo chose the wrong option, the wrong option, rather than holding on it and then waiting and trying to commit someone and then playing it, he was too eager to get the shot off the pass off straight away. But that's Kalia dancing into the box and he forces Jesus Navas to turn it behind for a Georgian corner with three minutes of normal time to go, Spain 4-1 up. Just haven't managed to get him in the game enough this second half, Florence Kalia. We know he's got the quality but just he's been on the fringes this second half. And he's going to take the corner. 
on this near side, deep to the far post. Heads go up and it's headed over his own crossbar by Laporte. So another corner, with the third of the game for Georgia. And quickly going across to that far side, if Zivzi adds it. Spots it down in the quadrant. There's a rarity. <laughs> right footed out swinger from Zipsivazi into the near post, comfortably volleyed clear by Uyazabal. But Georgia keep the ball, it's worked out to the right hand side and intercepted by Grimaldo. And a little toe poke from David Ashkrini got it into the area, but it's comfortably claimed by the goalkeeper. Rain continuing to fall here in Cologne, making the surface, the top surface, that little bit extra greasy. England won earlier today, needed an injury time equaliser from Jude Bellingham to force extra time against Slovakia. Harry Kane scored early in extra time to take England through to face Switzerland next weekend. Live on Talk Sport. And then we get White and Jordan tomorrow morning from 10am. We'll further pick the bones out of that. And Benzi, you're joining them, aren't you? I'm um, here. Yeah. Another long old stint. Three hours. Wow, you can hear some long old words. <laughs> you hear some long old words coming out of Simon Jordan's mouth. Oh, I can't wait to hear what they say about England because yeah, they're through. But it's going to be an inquest. It always is when England play. Well, kind of for the result. There's inquest going on up and down the country right now. I'm sure we'll have one in the uh, in the taxi on the way back to the hotel as well. I'm sure. But England are through. So is Spain. As we move into the last minute of normal time here in Cologne with Spain having possession on the halfway line with Rodri just lays it back to Laporte they've got, some, they've got such talented players Spain well but Marino finds Olmo that's a good ball Williams again looking dangerous down the left hand side of the area cuts inside gets a shot away blocked by Cassia comes out to Yamal Yamal just chinking trying to get away from Kocharashvili but it comes in field instead and Yamal finds Marino. Yamal again, darting into the area, lovely quick feet. Lays it off to Danny Malmo inside the D. Can he score a fifth? No, it's straight to Marmadashvili. Didn't have the pace on the shot he wanted and it was straight out the goalkeeper as well. 4-1 Spain. Yeah, Danny Malmo was almost a, a carbon copy of the goal that he scored, but it was the other way around this time. It was on his left foot. He chops back to his right, he just doesn't get enough purchase on it. And he's straight at the goalkeeper. But Yamal's touch on the run is something to watch. I mean, he can go in between bodies, it doesn't matter how they give him the ball, how hard they give it to him. He just brings it, completely kills it, goes past people. Incredible talent. Just moving into three minutes of additional time here. I remember, you probably won't because you're much younger than me, but Peter Beardsley used to have that skill to sort of be able to twinkle toes in between defenders. I remember <laughs> Peter Beardsley. Well, he could do that, just suddenly jink in between two or three defenders with a couple of quick touches. And Yamal's definitely got that in his locker, plus much more beside. Here he is, just trying to take it round to Jashvili. Has he won a corner? No, he's actually fouled his man. So Georgia get a free kick left-hand side of their own penalty area. 4-1 Spain, and we're in added time on Talk Sport 2. Do you know who his first touch reminds me of, in terms of on the run, when you give him the ball on the run? Mm. Riyad Mahrez. That similar type of technique where it doesn't matter how they give him the ball, it can bring it under control, but go past people at the same time. Really similar, even the way that they, they manipulate the ball. Really talented Johnson. I've been impressed with him. He hasn't got his goal yet, but really impressive. Turn 17, the day before the final. Will Spain be in the final? They're going to beat the hosts next in Stuttgart next Friday. What a game that will be. We'll bring you that. We're bringing you every game of this European Championship across the TalkSport network. And here comes Spain again. Marino finds Jamal, right-hand corner of the area. Four players up with him. Jinx it down the right-hand side of the box. Looking for Danny Olmo. Great block by Cashier. Comes out to the right-hand side near the corner flag. And Jamal and Olmo will combine again. Keeping the ball in play tight to this lid. Touch on Jamal. Then he's dragged to the ground by Cochidasvili and that's a free kick later on for Spain here on this right hand side I think Navas needs to say from your mouth you know what well, I understand that we're winning a little bit of show by him but you, listen you're a young kid when you're going to need you the rest of the tournament maybe just pass it off and just leave it then if the show by we get it and are winning the game 4-1 just pass the ball take one or two touch so you don't get yourself out so it's a free kick that's going to be taken by Jesus Navas it seems from this near side a couple of yards in 
from this near touch line, almost level with the edge of the Georgian penalty area. Plays it short, gets it back from Yamal. Tries for the ball on Jesus Navas, pulls it back, goes through a crowd of players. Nobody can get a touch. Grimaldo retrieves it, plays it back into the box. Williams has stayed down. Clutching his his chest, I think, as TalkSport listeners join us. We're in added time in Cologne and Spain. Have gone through the gears in this second half. It was 1-1 at half-time against Georgia. It's now 4-1 with seconds to go. Williams and Olmo finding the net in the second half to increase the scoreline. After Fabian Ruiz had put Spain 2-1 in front just after the restart. And Darren Bent, it's been impressive from some Spain when they probably had some harsh words amongst each other in the dressing room at the break. Yeah, they probably did because they weren't good enough that first half. Allowed Georgia to cause them problems. Um, but by the end of it, I mean, look at the score, it's 4-1. That's probably not doing them a service. There goes the full-time whistle. Luis de Fuente salutes his supporters and Spain, having had a big scare early on here in Cologne, have made it through to the Euro 2024 quarterfinals where they will face the host Germany in Stuttgart in what promises to be an absolute belter. But Georgia had plenty to say early on. They took the lead just after the quarter hour mark, which Spain had dominated. An own goal from Lenormand after a lovely cross from Kakabadze. But Rodri equalised just before half-time, so it went in 1-1 at the break. And those second-half goals from Fabian Ruiz, Nico Williams and Danny Olmo put the seal on the result for La Roca. So they're through to the last eight. Full-time score in Cologne. Spain 4, Georgia 1.